guys, this is Vic Lee and you are at the Argyle Night Market. Anyways, if you're not familiar with the Night Market, this place is a uh, annual event. Uh, this is the sixth event that it held uh, once a year and it's every Thursday of July and August. So you have some few opportunities to come if you have and tons of spectators. If you like good food, good music and some good entertainment, this is the place to be in Uptown right now in Chicago, so definitely come and check it out. We'll be exploring a lot more of these places now. Let's check out the food, the people, and just the, the fun and enjoyment. I mean, this place is awesome. You can see right now, there's tons of people here. Lots of spectators. This is Vic Lee and we are here back at Argyle for the Argyle Night Market. I am excited. Anyways, uh, just a little brief history about Argyle. Um, Argyle actually brings back a lot of memories for me being as a kid. Um, see that green building right there? See, back when I was a kid, downstairs used to be Sun Wa Barbecue Market. And I used to live up there in, in this house right here. Um, the third floor building, second floor building, and uh, I was six, seven, eight years old. From six to ten, I used to live up there. My grandma used to take care of me, my uncle used to take care of me. We used to come downstairs all the time to grab food and go back up. Of course, the people here as well, too. So, um, this has a lot of rich history as far as food, the culture, and the people. So uh, I'm very excited that there is a night market here now because it actually brings people together. So I'm so happy about that. Guys, there's so much good food here. That's amazing. So we have live entertainment. Uh, we also have great food, great people. I mean, lots of culture, lots of ethnic cultures here. Lots of diversity. Uh, just need to check it out here. There's a guy really here too. Oh yeah. Anyways, let's see where to start because I have an empty stomach and I am hungry. Go eat. I saw some amazing grilled well, lot locusts. Check it out. That's amazing. It has some skewers, it's tattoo. Let's go grab some right now. Pork, chicken, beef. I'll get the pork. Pork. And the pork. Yeah. Pork, skewer, and I've got the So we have the skewers. This is a pork skewer, as you can see right now. Uh, grilled to perfection. It has some pineapple as well too. Some uh, looks like a bell pepper, and it's uh, grilled perfectly too. I could see some lemongrass as well too. So let's see how this is. Nice char to it too. Yeah, this season perfectly too. It has like some salt, a little pepper to it, some black pepper to it. I could taste some fish sauce, a little fish sauce to taste it too, and uh, I could taste some lemongrass. Oh, this is perfect. This is very good. Mmm. Mmm. 
That pork is nice and juicy. Very juicy. Amazing. Oh. Delicious to eat. Um, it's basically uh, marinated beef with some uh, wrap over mayo meat. Uh, you can check it out. You can see it over here. It's really good. It just came off the grill perfectly. Let's see how it is. Now we're going west. Oh wow. That's marinated very well. It has some kind of um, a certain taste to it. On a serious note, if you've never had this before, please do. Argao, there's a few restaurants that has this. I can recommend Hai Yin, a uh, triple A restaurant. They do serve this, so definitely try the bitter leaf wrap. They have fried banana here. They deep fried it and then they put, uh, they put some kind of like, I guess they put some seasoning on it as well too. Let's go check it out. Yeah, one fried banana. Fried banana? Yeah, that looks really good. That looks really good. Easy. One tasty? One fifty? Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you. That looks really good. Look at this. We have here the fried banana. I'm not sure how they made it. It looks like a uh, some kind of flour base, like some kind of cornstarch, and they, they uh, looks like it looks like it's smashed, and then they they deep fried it. So this, I'm gonna open this up really quick. How this is? Okay, you can see the inside of it. Yeah, yeah look at that. You see the, the filling inside? Let's see how it says. Mm. And that's very sweet. Very sweet. Though it's just, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of banana. And inside the filling is actually very hollow. Maybe because of the banana, it's like smashed. But otherwise, it tastes like a Chinese, how do you call it? Yao Zhao Kuai. Which is kind of like a, a deep fried uh, for the ball. But uh, it's good though. Oh, yeah. It's pretty good. Special today, which is lamb tacos, and the other one is uh, their asada tacos. Let's see how it is. Oh, okay, thank you. Look at this. This is the carne asada. This is that uh, the lamb. This is called the chivo, the goat. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Good. Check that for onions too. Pork, one onion, tacos, one onion. And, um, oh, look, a little more. Goat. Goat. Oh, there's salsa. Yeah. Salsa verde. That's also salsa verde. Let me have pork tacos. Pork tacos, what? A little bit yes, of that uh, salsa. Good. Rojo. We also have the goat. This looks amazing. These two looks amazing. But I'm, a, I'm definitely excited for the goat. So what I'll do is uh, squeeze a little bit of that uh, lemon on top. The lime on top. Try this right now. This is the goat taco. Never had it before. First time. Look at that. Okay, let's check it out. Wow. That may be the most tender, juiciest lamb taco I've ever had. It's so I mean there's tons of sauce in there. The tortillas are just right and the um, salsa verde is in it too. The cilantro are very fresh. Oh man, delicious. Very delicious. Mmm. Very good. I'm gonna try this uh, carne asada. Oh dude, that's sauce man. That red sauce that's on top of here. I wonder how spicy it is. It must be spicy. 
Let's try it really quick. See how it is? Yeah. Oh, it's very good. The asada is marinated very well. Very well. It's tender as well, too. So it's not chewy, it's not kind of you know, sticky. Oh, it's a very good taco. Yeah, so I'm gonna grab one of these uh, coconuts. These are good. Thank you. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you. That's good. Fresh. It's nice and cold still. So it's very refreshing. And you definitely need this though. If you're planning to eat a lot, yeah, you definitely eat this because um, after a while your mouth, your mouth is getting pretty much dried up and chewed up. Eat something to kind of like hydrate yourself. So coconut juice, fresh coconut juice really helps a lot too, you know. I saw some really delicious shrimp skewers. So I'm gonna go buy one right now, check it out. Check it out. Nicely fresh shrimp skewers. Just cooked, just came off the grill. Amazing. Mmm, onion is good too. These are definitely garlic skewers. Garlic, some fish sauce. Fish sauce, garlic, maybe some soy as well too. A little bit of sugar as well too. A little sweetness to it. Oh yeah. Mmm. Nice and good skewers. Yeah. We'll go grab some picking duck right now. We'll go check it out right now. Check it out. See that? Looks really good. It's amazing. Sun Oh yeah. Wow. Like. This is a, a Peking duck uh, wrap. If you're not familiar with it, this is pretty much like a it's like a, a, a mini sandwich you call it right now too. The duck is nice and fresh. The only thing is like you see right now they use a really a thicker kind of a wrapper compared to the Chinese restaurants that give like a thinner wrapper. But uh, some hoisin sauce, you got some uh, a little bit of that uh, green onions on top, it looks like some uh, cucumber. That's how this is. Fresh. That is so fresh. That's so juicy as well too. That's so good. So good. Mm. I want that chicken leg for three dollars. This is so good. It's amazing. It's juicy. It's so juicy. Because the juices comes right out. One order with the bun? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ah, what a nice. Thank you. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at this. Juicy roast duck leg. It's amazing. Look at that. It's glistening. It's roasted, this came out right out too. That's how it is. Mm. Oh my god. It's so juicy. And the skin is crispy as well too. Nice and crispy as well too. Might be one of the best ducks I've ever had. Roast ducks I've ever had. Especially if it's this fresh. This is so fresh. This came right off the oven. In all seriousness, if you don't have the roast duck, you are missing out. Maybe the best thing here, the roast duck. Woo. And 
now we are in line to grab a drink. Smoothie line, which is only three dollars a cup. Yeah. Guys, uh, honestly, after a good meal, you're gonna have to get something to drink, refreshing as well. So I got a start of a watermelon food freeze, three dollars. Oh yeah, it's very refreshing. Sweet too. Guys, I had a wonderful time here at the Argyle Night Market. Tons of good food, good people, and uh, definitely um, coming back next year for sure. Remember, if you have a chance, every Thursday, July, and August of every single year, uh, great food, great people. The culture is very diverse, and just a fun atmosphere. So, if you have a chance, please give me a subscribe, smash that like button. See you guys next time, and don't forget to hit that bell button too as well too. So anyways, see you guys next time and remember, stay hungry.